Hi guys, welcome back. I am doing a small haul today. Uh, I already filmed it, but I needed an intro. So this is the intro. Hello! <laughs> In case you don't know who I am, my name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands. That's why I have a lovely accent. I do paper crafting, junk journal projects and the occasional vintage treasure haul. Uh, so I have a treasure haul for you today and also I did some shopping and bought some craft supplies at a craft shop and at another shop that usually doesn't have craft supplies. So um, I hope you'll enjoy it uh, guys. I have lots of treasures and goodies to show you. Enjoy! You want to see my treasures? I'm so excited. So this came in from an Instagram uh, seller, a Dutch one. These are vintage sort of cards about milk i love the paper and it says here you can make milk soup milk soup yeah well that sounds disgusting uh, love it love it i have two so i'm gonna hoard one of course and i'm gonna use one and then this oh isn't that sort of fantastic i would love to find because i still use this well in its sort of modern form uh, i would love to find a holder like this to keep up yeah that would be fantastic um we call it maggie uh, may maybe you call it maggie maybe it is available where you are i don't know but i love it yeah it's for food to add flavor isn't it fantastic oh yes love it love it love it i have no idea how old it is it, i'm i unfortunately don't think it's old enough to scan but love it anyway and then this one oh i'm sorry for the glare it's in plastic um, I'm gonna unwrap it. <laughs> I know what's in here, but I haven't seen them up close, of course. Can I open this without sort of ripping it all? Hopefully I can. Well, you made a lovely knot there. So yeah, both these ladies on Instagram, I didn't contact them to see if they um, ship internationally. If they do, I will link the, the shops below. It's sewn on? No, it's not. It's not. There we go. Well, that's exciting. Watching me unwrap something. Let's do this. Yes, there you go. <laughs> well, these are all sorts of um, receipts and bills and notes. Handwritten. All these. Oh, I have no idea how old these are. I'll probably find it. Well, it says 1911 here. It's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I bought two sets. They came in sets. She probably found the whole box. Lucky, lucky her. Would love to have this. Oh, it's so beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? Yes. Unfortunately, most of the times you find something like this. Well, I have never found it other than buying it from someone else who found it. It mostly always has like something in red written on or blue or black. That was added on later. Um, I am not very skilled with Photoshop. Otherwise, I would remove it. Oh my, it's so beautiful. Oh, I really, really hope you kept the most beautiful ones for yourself. And they need to be really, really beautiful because these are gorgeous. It's from 1900. Oh, and the back. I'm so going to scan this. I'm going to scan this. 1921. Beautiful, right? These are all French. French ones. 1930. If you have something in the back, that's Jackson. He's having, you know, his crazy moment. <laughs> it's gorgeous. And then this one, it used to have a seal. See this? Oh, it's almost like um, onion skin paper. It's very thin. It's very, very thin. Love it. Oh, and there's two of these. Yeah, lovely. See, this has been added, added later. Mm. Oh, why, why, why? I think this is a stamp of the company. Yeah. Oh, I love this. I would so have loved to have this without this and this. Maybe I can fix it some way. Well, these are a little bit newer, I guess. Do I have a date? Because they're typed. I love to, I would love to find a typewriter that has this font on it. Yeah. I cannot see date. Do you see date? Oh, 1952. May 1952. 1952. Fantastic. See this? So sad. So sad. 
again oh so sad why why yes i'm not i'm not really good at photoshop at all actually no it scares me photoshop scares me but i should look into it because they're fantastic isn't it i'm an old pal yes well these are not cheap guys um um i find them somewhat reg well that's not that's not true I don't find them that regularly, but I, when I do find them, I find them in like five or six at a time and they're sort of expensive, but they're well worth it. I just adore them. I adore them. These are the same, right? Yeah. They're just lovely. 1921 again. Oh, are these all from the same? Well, which means I'm um, going to hoard one and use the rest. These are the stamps. That belongs on there. Completely different handwriting. These are all sort of the same. That's a shame. I, I like the other ones much better. Much, much better. I just love the letter heads. And these are all, um, you know, just letters. <laughs> Not images. And most of them are from the same company. That's a shame. I would have loved to have more variety in this pack. Still... It is pretty. It is pretty. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Love the colors on this one. Yeah. So, yeah, the first pack I adore. I am very sort of sad that in the second pack it had a lot of the of the same. That's a shame. But nonetheless, it's a treasure, don't you think? There's one more item that I found on Instagram. It's this piece of fabric. Don't you love it? It's actually a map on very heavy cotton like canvasy sort of material isn't it fantastic yes what are you gonna do with it well um this is perfect for covering a travel journal of course it's so so pretty and i think i have enough to make at least two so extremely happy with this never found this myself it isn't really vintagey i think it's a more modern uh, however, I'm totally in love with it. Now, this I also found on the internet. This is an absolute treasure. I also found on the internet, not on um, not on Instagram, on our sort of marketplace, which is called Marktplaats. It's like a site where individual, like normal people, can sell their items. Yeah. So these are actually, um, I think these are American. I do not know for sure. It's Woolworth Company Limited. Yes, printed in the USA. Aren't these lovely? These are from the 50s. Uh, it says 1953 for spring, fall 1951, 1952. Well, you know, 50s. Oh, this is fall 60. I don't exactly know what it is. These are embroidery color charts, but they're full of these images. Isn't that fantastic? It's amazing. I've never seen this. I think these are sort of examples of uh, embroidery patterns that you can probably buy. Yeah, looks like. I don't know. I think you can order them from these. So absolutely adore them. I have never seen these. Um, these came from the same lady that I bought something from. I also bought something from her a couple of years ago. She has the nicest stuff. There's an index on her, then items. I don't know how it would work, but you know, it's gorgeous. And I love the colors as well. Now, these are fantastic. I love them. And I found a whole bunch. I don't know if I will sell them. I don't know. Uh, but for now, I'm going to hoard them. These are French from 1948. I believe they're all from 1948. Well, they're not from France. They're from Belgium, actually. Um, but the um, French-speaking uh, part of Belgium. Femmes d'aujourd'hui is like women of today or something like this. My French isn't um, very good. Uh, Femmes is um, women and d'aujourd'hui is um, today or of today. Yeah, well, today. Look at that. Advertisement pieces. Love that. Uh, this is not the best part that I love. No, isn't it? No. I love this. But there's more. There's more. I'm not going to flip through all of them. Look at this. 
uh i don't know about you but i love it i love it love it love it love it it is old fashion and embroidery and such you can knit a belt with a fanny pack is it called a fanny pack i believe so see fanny packs were around from the 50s and the 40s and the 50s oh my isn't that absolutely beautiful look at the colors look at that i just love it hairdos <laughs> Great. And all sorts of patterns that you can make something with. You know, I cannot even sew a handkerchief <laughs> if my life depended on it. Yeah. More advertisement pieces. So beautiful, right? Fantastic. Unfortunately, these are not old enough for me to scan. Well, I, I will do some research, but because maybe I could scan... Um, one of the beautiful ladies look at these these are nightgowns lovies nightgowns i don't know about you but i don't dress like that going to bed <laughs> no no and the little girls oh, it's so fantastic yes you are totally in love right yeah i i think so look at the hats well they are gorgeous 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 i'm gonna do some research oh i wish i had this I wish I had the, the fashion then was absolutely amazing. What I do not understand is the following. And I know this from my grandmother and maybe even my mother, but especially my grandmother. Because <clears throat> at that time they did knit sort of underwear and bathing suits. They knit them from wool. That's itchy, right? I cannot imagine wearing a bikini that is knitted. Also, will it not sort of shrink or i i don't i don't know how that would work <laughs> Look. it's amazing so i have um I, I believe 15 15 these were not cheap guys no these were expensive um but uh, they're absolute treasures and um yeah well worth it in my opinion well worth it so that's for all the vintage stuff that i found i also um did some shopping some craft supplies in my favorite craft shop which is stewarding uh, in spikenisse and also i went to dilla and camilla which is a shop a chain in the netherlands it's translated dill and chamomile it's like herbs and when you step into the shop you're like i am in someone's beautiful kitchen and it smells like herbs and it's a really, really nice shop. Uh, and I found some crafty supplies. Funny enough. Let me show you. This is from Dilla and Camilla. They had um, um, a couple of sort of sets like these. And these are actually for, I think, bullet journaling. Yeah. I'm, I didn't untie them yet. I just sort of went through them like this. So already love the twine that's around it. Look how beautiful the illustration on this is. I love this. It's a botanical. And then this is just a notebook with like very like ivory sort of paper um blank that you can draw oh didn't even see the butterfly because it was on the back oh it has a label on here love that um and then these are the bullet journal pages with all the dots see um i don't do any bullet journaling anymore sometimes i'm like maybe you should maybe you should but i don't know and then this one with all the sort of foliage like mushrooms and leaves and such has then the lined paper again in the beautiful sort of ivory color so yeah i absolutely love it love it i'm not going to use it as is i'm going to take them apart and then use the pages in something else but i do like I'm, i am going to recycle everything of course i love this Oh, I wish I could make labels. So this was a set for all you Dutchies out there. I didn't think it was that expensive. It's like almost seven euros, six ninety five, at Dilla and Camilla. And Dilla Camilla, um, you have in all sort of major cities. Then, then they uh, sold these. Um, now I do find these somewhere else. These are craft cards, um, cardstock tags in this plasticky. But I thought, well, I'm gonna try them out. There with tape. Well, that's not smart. Oh, the tape is only stuck on there. Oh, there are a sort of heavy material. Yeah, so pre-made at uh, small little tags. Now you do, you can make these yourself, of course. And I will. 
I will. I'm going to do a video on these and then um, also decorate them. And it came with the twine. So love that. Did it have a price on it? Uh, not on the back, I believe. Oh, yeah, $2.95. So three euros, which is, you know, sort of expensive. But I wanted to try it out. And I love these. I actually never made these myself, but these are very easy to make. These are uh, sort of labels that you put on presents that you can write something on. They're lovely with an eyelet, an eyelet punch through. Um, I bought these mainly because I wanted to show you what you can buy in a shop and what we can make ourselves. So I am definitely going to do a video about making this ourselves decorating them and how to use them so this is actually a video i'm going to use these in a video and these were i think 295 well 195 as well with with the um, eyelets in them that's funny to me i would have thought this was much more expensive than this but you know that's just me and then i found these Aren't these fantastic? These are label stickers. Now, mind you, they do have the brand of the shop on, on there. I don't really mind. Maybe we can cover it or uh, why would I? It's nice font and it says Dylan Camilla, which are herbs. So it could be for an apothecary label or whatever. They were made to put on jars um, that you have that are filled with the herbs that you can buy there because you can buy all sorts of herbs and spices and teas and coffees and you know it's like that sort of shop i do like that sort of shops i love it but it's a little bit too alternative for me i don't know so i have these big ones and small ones and these are like more bold uh and they are they're stickers guys they're stickers see and i do love the sort of the backgrounds like handmade paper it isn't it is actually isn't and then this one with the bigger ones so these were all the sizes that they have and i thought i buy one of each and they were all 150 right yeah 150 which is not that expensive but you know i'd like to make them myself um but i would like to use them i'd love to use them so yeah if you're a dutchie go visit dilla and camilla um they have nice stuff. They had more stuff, like bulb clips and such. Um, but I have most of it already. So now for um, my favorite craft shop, I bought a couple of items. And I met someone there. It was such a funny story. Let me tell you. So I went to my favorite craft uh, shop. It's called Do A Ding. It is in Spijkenisse, which is very near where I live. Uh, in case you didn't know that. And this was the one that I was looking for. It's brushed corduroy it was um recommended to me by a subscriber she told me um you might like it uh and i also wanted to try a nice green color i buy i bought this in oxide um and this in ink still not sure why this is my thought process i want to use this for the stressing edges of paper and for that i always use the oxides i know it's something to do with water and spraying and it will make a different color and this is with pigment and the other uh, it's all oh, it's way too confusing for me guys it's because i don't do mixed media if i'm going to do mixed media i will sort of dive into it and have a better sort of um understanding of what this is so this is rustic wilderness it's green i think this is a nice color green and i bought this in distress ink i was actually looking for these colors in archival and that will be the waterproof and um ink ink i guess uh, i don't even know if these come in real ink ink i don't i don't know i will Someday I will. So I bought them. And these are the colors. This is actually the um, brushed corduroy. And this is the green. I love the green. I would have thought that the brushed corduroy would, would be more grayish. Uh, because someone told me it's, it's going to be a little bit more gray. It's not gray at all. But that is quite all right. Because this is going to be my next vintage photo. It is beautiful i absolutely love it yes it's up there with uh freight burlap but i think freight burlap is much more gray uh but i'm gonna use it a lot so love this one 
Then, um, yeah, I always go to the Tim Holtz section there just to see if this, there's anything there that I might want to try. And I found another one of these um, tapes, design tapes. And this is French. They call it French. And it has eight pieces in there. I, I have no clue what this is doing here. That's okay. I'm just going to show them to you. All of them have... Um, six yards on them which is a five and a half meters and that is a lot because when you buy tape on aliexpress the most the most uh, um that you will get is probably three meters so yeah it's well i think it's well worth the money but it has this on here with the glitter i no uh, fortunately it only has two yards on the eye I have these because they also come in packs that I buy at Action. Most of the time I just throw them out. So I don't know, Mr. Holtz, misschien, uh, mis misschien. perhaps this is a very, very good one. I am going to try it. But the other ones are French. You have some that are probably like uh, a quarter inch, half an inch. Look at these numbers. Uh, two more with half an inch and this has script on it I reckon it's French yeah it, it is and then three of the bigger ones with posted stamps on there and oh this this is a Tim Holsey sample uh, stamp I am sorry I'm very Dutch today yeah oh uh, speaking about that guys um, as I in my last video I asked you what do you think uh, Dutch YouTubers should do, speaking English um, or um, in American, have subtitles and such? And I, I love that you all commented, uh, but most of you were thinking I was talking about me. I wasn't talking about me. I was talking about a friend of mine. My videos will not change. I will keep it like this with the Dutch accent and the occasional Dutch word uh, in between. So don't worry. I was asking for a friend. Now let me tell you who I met at Do A Ding. Apparently that is the place to go to meet YouTubers. A <laughs> uh, um, couple of uh, months ago I met Els, the owner and designer of Elizabeth Craft Designs. Lovely lady. We had a lovely chat. Um, and then uh, this Saturday I met another person that is connected to Elizabeth Craft Designs. Actually, this is a gentleman. He's called David. He has his own YouTube channel and is a design team member of um, Els. And I know his videos because last year he recreated one of my Christmas cards and tagged me. So I was very, very surprised and very sort of honored that he did that. So it's, it's he's really, really good at what he does. Um, so yeah, I was at Duoding. And then there was this gentleman, it's very busy uh, on Saturdays, let me tell you, it's a very, very good shop. And he was at the um, uh, Tim Holtz location looking at stamps and I was in line waiting to get my chance to, you know, get there. And I thought, I recognize this gentleman, so I kept staring at him and he turned around and he just looked at me. <clears throat> uh, like, who are you staring at? Or, I don't know, I don't know, he was very friendly, guys. So I I got up the courage and I asked, excuse me, are you David from Elizabeth Craft Designs? And at some points, he probably, well, he told me, he recognized my voice. And he said, yes, I am. And he came up to me, shook my hand. And I told him, well, uh, I'm Seven Plaza, uh, Margaret from Seven Plaza. And he said, yes, I know. I follow your channel. So we had a lovely chat. What a wonderful gentleman that was. Yes, um, he taught me some things about, you know, stamps and stamping and inks and such. He was accompanied by a lovely lady. I am, I'm sorry, I didn't catch her name. And I don't know if she is a crafter or a YouTuber. I have no clue, but I met David. Yes, so uh, apparently Duoding is a place to go to meet your famous YouTubers. Like me, I'll probably be there every Saturday. So that's it for my um, adventure this weekend. Guys, I hope you like the small haul. I'm going to play with these for sure. And this is going to be a video. Now, speaking of videos, I'll be back again tomorrow. On a Monday, I am going to do a new series. I was very, very happy to find out that Rachel from Roxy Creations is again this year doing her uh, Roxy's Weekly Challenge. Love it. I don't think she did that last year. 
I cannot recall, but she surely did it the year before that. And I love those. Those are going, are going to be sort of simplish videos. Uh, a challenge to make one item and a lot of them, like building a stash or something. And I would love to um, do them every week. She is inviting everyone to do so. If you have a, a YouTube channel or Instagram or Facebook or, you know, just enjoy crafting. So I will use her hashtag. I will do her project, but probably um, in my own style, put my own twist on it. I guess I think everyone will do that. So, uh, Rachel, if you're watching, probably not. The woman is busy. Um, thank you so much, Rachel, for um, doing this challenge again. I will definitely join in and you'll give me so much inspiration ideas for videos to share with all you guys. So have a lovely Sunday if you're watching this on a Sunday. And I'll be back again on Monday tomorrow with another crafty video. It's going to be a Roxy weekly challenge. See you then. Bye, guys.